welcome back to Minding Your Business with the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker, your host. Next guest from Stephen B. Marvin Insurance Agency, Dan Sebastian. Welcome. Well, thanks for having me. How are you, Chris? <laughs> Wonderful, Dan. Yourself? I'm good. I'm really good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. And you have some history in radio. I do. I'm really comfortable in front of the microphone. I would rather be in your position than my position, but a sports talk radio host for five years here in the Antelope Valley. Wow, and the people are probably this morning going, whatever happened to that guy? You know, that's funny, and that does that does happen a lot. They'll hear, not, not so much at, at Stephen B. Marvin so far, but uh, my former job, they, I recognize that voice, and I'll tell them I used to, and they, that's right, you were on the radio. Four hours at one point. 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. drive time with Brian Gold in the uh, the morning zoo. And that was live, so live. You don't get to sleep in. No, no. You're you're up at three in the morning and doing your research, and you're up late at night watching those games. And Lakers are late, right? Everyone, Dodgers, Lakers. Those games are ending at 10, 30, 11 o'clock. You can't guess the outcome. You got to watch it. <clears throat> got to watch it. Got to know what you're talking about. And when I first started on the morning show, I lived in Culver City. So I drove up and then did the radio show before moving here in 95. I, I'm, I'm stuck on driving through Lancaster at four in the morning. Yeah. Out there to where KVL was out in the middle of the field. Yeah, so I just took the freeway all the way up to Avenue I and exited right at the stadium and the bomb shelter was next to Jack in the Box was where we did the show. Valley Radio. Yeah. The hundreds of people that have, that have made radio work through the years. And the I was one of them. I would, and there's no local stations now. There's no local broadcasters, yeah. really. One, well, Brian. Brian, Brian Chase here. Right. And here we are. And here we are. I guess two. In, in, a, in a very famous uh, studio. That's, That's right. been used by a lot of people through the years. Oh, it has. This is my first time. You reached out to the Lancaster Chamber and said, I want to be on the show. Yes, and I will be on the show every week if you want. <laughs> so, uh, Stephen B. Marvin Insurance Agency is my employer, and, and they've been around since 1912, so 108 years now. And they, they are the long, longest standing member of the Lancaster Chamber. Right. So, I am going to more events because uh, Henry Marvin is super busy. He's running the agency and he has employees. So, that's where I come in. So, I'm going to start going to these more. And when I found out that you were doing this, I'm like, I want it. This is this is excellent. How did you get into insurance? So I was a uh, from sports. I went uh, became a financial advisor. I was that for 19 years. Left a, a large firm in June, and in July 22nd of 2019, last year, I went through Stephen B. Marvin. It was it's a long story, but I knew. Uh, Hank Humphreyville works there. He did my insurance, and he was also a client, so I informed him that I'm no longer with that company, and he passed it along to the Life and Health Department and said, hey, you know, this guy's all licensed. He's really good. You should hire him, and I was hired immediately. You know, that's a big office over there at uh, 17th. And yep, 17th and K. And K. Uh, but they had an empty desk? Upstairs they did. Upstairs? There's not many. There was, yes. Yeah. So that's the, isn't that real estate upstairs? Uh, real estate is downstairs on the side. The upstairs is the life and health department and bonding. And you have the view though. A little bit of a view. It's towards my back of the beautiful 14 freeway. <laughs> You're up there with Dr. Neighbors. Yes, dentist. There's a dentist. Though. That's exactly right. Is that going to make people nervous to come upstairs? I am not afraid of the dentist. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm only speaking for me. She's a she's a good one. Yes, I mean, a, a lot of people that work at Stephen B. Marvin, they just walk upstairs. They make an appointment for noon or whatever, and they just walk right upstairs to the dentist. I like to get out. But. I'll just skip lunch and go to the dentist. That's, yes, that's fun. Well, you know, uh, in every vocation, you want someone who likes what they do. Absolutely. And are good at it. Mm -hmm. So you honing sure. your skills in the world of uh... so it's it's the curve is I got a long way to go, but it's totally different than any anything I've ever done. I've done life insurance before, so I'm really comfortable with life insurance, and I think it's it's something that everybody needs. 
Health insurance is completely different. I've always had health insurance. I've never sold health insurance. And we do group health and group and individual are, are different. It's, and it's just not, it's medical, dental, vision, life. And, and even though you're, you're in the uh, learning curve, yep. doesn't that part of the business change almost every day? Health insurance is always changing. Yeah. It's always changing. Yeah. So as soon as I learn something, it's, it's gone. So I've learned that I have, it just have to keep learning. I mean, it's, it's like in, you know, being a financial advisor. It's just keeping up to date and reading. You get emails. I'm lucky I work with, you know, quality women that are client service reps that have been there for years, and, and they are a wealth of knowledge. And, and I can go to them. And they'll answer any question I have. And Henry Marvin, who hired me, was the the owner. I mean, he's worked there his whole life. They're kind of the gold standard. They are. I th I think they are the in gold the standard. valley in the world of insurance. They are. Uh, when you have a company that's the longest running company in the Antelope Valley since 1912, you're doing a lot of things right. Yeah, a lot. And they they do it all. And we talk about you have to change with the times. We were talking before that. You know, cyber insurance is a thing now. In 1912, 1950, 1980, cyber, huh, cyber insurance? But now it's, now it's a thing. Yeah. It, it, insurance is protection. It is protection. Just that That's the basic. We, we cover it for you if you, you know, you, you want to have auto insurance, right? In case your car gets in an accident. Health insurance, same, so... Really quick story, in, in May of, of 2016, I got really sick. And if I didn't have health insurance, I was bankrupt. It would have been all over. Now, did anybody send you flowers when you're really sick? <laughs> yes. Flowers helped, didn't they? Yes, I love flowers. Okay. Well, that's good. I love that's flowers. Enough, that's my, enough about me. My daughter's middle name is Rose. Wow. So, okay. There you that's, go. That's good for 20% discount anytime. That's that's good to know. Uh, it's Valentine's. Do you, do you, uh, yeah, good mention. Do you ever, um, are there certain groups of people that get a discount because they are, they do well or who they are or? No. no. So uh, health insurance, medical insurance is medical insurance. Uh, if this insurance agency quotes Kaiser, we quote Kaiser, another one quotes Kaiser, those quotes are the same. There's nothing you can do with, with health insurance because it goes by uh, your age and your zip code. Okay, and so that's why health insurance goes up every year because everybody gets a year older. Mm. At Stephen B. Marvin, the way we separate ourselves from everybody else is is Stephen B. Marvin, Henry Marvin, uh, pays for add-ons, pays for complementary services that the groups can use. Uh, there's something called Ease, HR Wow, Got Safety. Those are things that that groups. Uh, they can use it in their office as onboarding uh, employees and and extra and putting their benefits on there and so there those are extra things that we pay for that most insurance companies don't that's how we separate ourselves and then you get me that's worth the right the other <laughs> you walk right by 12 other people and say i'm looking for dan yeah, that's all you have you're to gonna do. get real popular in that office that's huh? right the new guy i'm trying i am the new guy <laughs> with a beautiful voice so you've got, my a lot of, voice. you've got a lot of tools in your toolbox, I, on your tool belt. I've done three things my whole life, basically. I was a sports talk radio host, a financial advisor, and now health and life insurance. I, I've been a sales guy for a long time. So that's what I do. I sell. And I love, this is what I love to do. I right. love talking to people. I love to help them out. And that's what I can do. And people like doing business with people that they like. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah, they they hear it in the voice and they go, "That's the guy." You can you can feel the the passion that I that I care about what I do, and I, I tell people straight up front, I'm I've been doing this ninety seconds. Yeah. If I don't if I don't know something, I'll get the answer. But you were recruited, and I think that's the sign of a good employer is they attract people, they look yes. for people, they yes. seek them out. And my whole life, I've always worked for a big company. So the, the fact that this is family owned and there's 30 of us and we get along and we sing happy birthday once a month to the birthday months and the uh, Hank Marvin, yeah, 
Yeah, senior. Easy. He still walks around. He still has birthdays. He, <laughs> and, and he hands, uh, he goes through and, and hands us our check on the beginning and middle of the month. Even though our checks are automatically deposited, he hands us the pay stuff. That's what he loves. And you never get that. Personally shaking your hand, saying thank you. Wow. Well, I do hand the checks out, but I, I forget to shake their hand. Well, you I think it's we a give nice, them a rose. It's a nice touch. Yeah. And, and are you the only person working there that didn't graduate from SC? <laughs> That's funny. Yes. So do you have to do the cheer and wear the, wear the I didn't have to. I wouldn't do that. I, I'm all Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm a Wisconsin Badger. Man. Through and through. So there really is diversity going on there. Me and then USC. <laughs> Those folks love their school. They do. They love, they love USC. I bet he's a, uh, Hank is a big deal down there, I bet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Local boy so, makes good. Yeah. Oh, he's done a great job. Here we got one minute. What am I forgetting to ask you? Uh, how do you reach me? Hey, where are you? How do we find you? Uh, Dan at MarvinINS.com, or you can call 942-1101, extension 331. Or just ask for Dan. And if they're in Nevada, what's the phone number? 661-942-1101. You know, there is an 800 number, but I don't know it off the top of my head. That and, you know, question. to go through all the states, we just, we don't have that kind no, of time. No. We have less than a minute. But you love what you do? I do. I love the company. Very good. Do people ever say, hey, let's go to lunch over there at Marie Callender? All the time. Because you are on Restaurant Row there. I love walking. They're delicious. <laughs> Been <laughs> chatting with... Dan Sebastian, Stephen B. Marvin Insurance Agency, and thank you for being a member of the Chamber of Commerce for a hundred and eight years. Hundred and eight years. Almost. It's 1937 officially, I think, we were started. Happy birthday, Hank. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we got way carried away. <laughs>